Hi, everyone. Today is Thursday, June 2nd, 2016, and this is Team Congress call. I'm excited because the month of June to me means like we're halfway done of chapter of the book 2016. And as you know, I'm taking this year chapter by chapter and each section that is happening, I'm taking it with a grain of salt and I'm using each thing that happens as a learning experience and something to help me grow. And as I grow, I share with the team. Um, you know that we're moving into basically a new season a new season for us as business owners and as independent and also most of us are like either have kids or we're in the teaching career or something that has to do with that so usually we tend to change our habits during summertime when our kids are off from school so this is the time when it's understandable to have a little bit of I'm not going to call it lose the fo focus, but we have to maintain our anchors present where we can actually visualize why are we doing what we do, what are the, the reasons and what brings us back to like not feel like we're all over the place. So we're not shifting and moving with the wind. And I know this to be true because in the month of May, I reflected a lot on the month and I had a very tough month. Um, I felt that I wasn't getting traction with people. I wasn't getting my point across. Um, I wasn't attracting a new community and I was feeling the pushback. Um, I started to think, is it me? What am I doing? that is not allowing other people to connect with me. And it was my own energy. My energy was bringing me down and then I was doubting myself and then I was second guessing myself. And then I was just doing things for the pressure of doing things, but not doing them from the heart. So I had to take a step back and go back to my anchor and go back to my beginning and go back to my reasonings, and I evaluated everything. And I asked myself tough questions, like questions as if, if nobody joins your team this month, are you still going to be doing this? If every single challenger in your group stopped showing up, are you still going to do your daily vitals? If you have no Facebook, if you have no Instagram, if you have no tools to spread the word, are you still going to be vested in helping people? Is that still going to be your driving force? And the answer to all of it was yes, because I did not start this because I had a group of challengers. When I started, I was alone. I was overweight. I was depressed. I had no vision for my future. I didn't even know that this opportunity existed. All I knew was that I needed change. And I, cha I craved change so badly that I didn't look back and I didn't look to my side. All I knew was that I was able to control my health and my fitness. And that's the only thing I plugged myself into. I'm a faithful woman. So I know that God has placed me in this place, in this position, because I have a heart to serve. I love serving people, and I love adding value to people's lives. And sometimes we forget because we focus on numbers and we focus on rank, and we get distracted because we see everything else happening on the side of us, and that makes us kind of shift and kind of take our eyes off of our anchor. So I went back to that and I said, you weren't here for ranks. You weren't here for numbers. You were here to help people. And I brought myself home. And 
when I took everything off and I said, I'm here because I need this for my own health and my own sanity, I need this. And I focused on doing what I can control from, I would say the last week and the week before, the last two weeks of May, something changed in my business. And I started to attract the people that I wanted in my business and that God wanted to bring to my life at the moment because I needed to help them with whatever situation they were going. And that showed me that we all need to have our anchors in front of us. And we have to be real and we have to be, um, we have to understand that we're not here. Like if, if you're here to have like a whole bunch of, you know, fireworks and always be exciting and everything be easy, go lucky. This is not the right place because this is more an inner transformation and inner journey than what it is on the outside. So I wanted to start off with that because as I was thinking, what is the title of our team call? That's what I felt. We needed to like, I was thinking sail, you know, summer, ocean. We're going to have a lot of things that are going to try to drift us away from our purpose and from our goals. But your anchors are the ones that will always pull you back. And if you don't know what those anchors are, I'm going to ask that you take a moment and you write them down and you have them very close to you because if not, it, the, the word says you're going to not have deep roots and any wind is going to blow you away and you're going to be knocked down. And that's what happens to most of us when those objections come. We're knocked down because our anchor is not strong enough. So we need to get those anchors and dig deep. Dig deep. And once you dig deep, there could be a hurricane and you won't be moved. But you have to believe and trust the journey. Something else is, guys, we cannot rush our time. You know how we're in the microwave society? And everyone wants success and everyone wants to look like a top model and everyone wants to have a bank account that is like bursting. Everyone wants that, but nobody realizes that behind the top model's body, there's hard work behind a bank account that is exploding. There's a lot of hard work and sacrifice and behind success there's a lot of tears, there's a lot of sweat, and there's a lot of hard work. There's a lot of persistence, and there's a lot of consistency, and there's a lot of failures, and there's a lot of success. And nobody has the key that is going to unlock the date on when you're going to put your hand on your success. The only one that knows is your maker, is your creator. So you, no te le puedes adelantar al tiempo. And you can't go forward to your own time because what happens is if, if you've seen this, when people get the lottery, they get the lottery and then they basically have all this money and they don't know what to do with it because it was given to them immaturely in it when they were premature and not ready for it. Sometimes we want blessings, but we're not ready for them. So we need to dig deeper, work harder, sacrifice and be willing to stay consistent until we get to that point. So don't rush it. Um, stick to it and focus. All right. Um, I want to welcome anybody who has come to our call for the first time. Uh, I, I see a few familiar faces and I truly am honored to be part of this team with you. I want you to know that this is basically a team call where we come together to kind of share common and best practices. We also share our own personal struggles, struggles and at the end, I'd like to share, um, open it up for any questions that you may have. Um, if you can please mute your, mute your call, that would be great. And that way we don't have as much um, interruptions. So I want to go over um, some, because believe it or not, our team is growing. Believe it or not, 
we have new members and we have the coaches that are coming into our team. They are excited about the opportunity. And what I'm noticing is because we're becoming more confident in speaking of the opportunity to others, we are attracting more business builders. And business builders are people who are not just here for the discount. Business builders are people who want to actually earn income and add value to people's lives. So as you continue to add people into our teams, I'm going to encourage you to, number one, add them, whether they tell you that they're working coaches or they're not, add them to Team Conquer and add them to Team Eagle and ask them to turn off their notifications and that they are just going to be a fly on the wall and they don't have to participate. They don't even have to say hi. They just have to be there as your protocol, as your responsibility, because you're their leader. Now, I'm saying this because let's say Juanita brings in coach Johnny. Johnny signs up Maria. Maria has no clue that um, Juanita signs him up because she was, he was never introduced to the team. So Johnny drops out of the face of the earth because that happens. And nobody knows how to contact Johnny. And Johnny, since he doesn't know me, I'll send him an email, but he won't respond. So Johnny won't reply back. Now, Maria, on the way bottom, is working the business. She likes this opportunity and she wants to reap the benefits that this business can offer to her. And she's working her butt off. But yeah, she doesn't know what to do with the tools that have been given to her. And she's a go-getter. She's going to go do whatever she can to make it happen. But she, does, she has a team that can support her and a team that can recognize her and a team that can celebrate success with her. But unless Johnny puts Juanita, uh, Maria in that group, it won't happen. And unless Juanita puts Johnny in the group, it won't happen. So you know, we know of today, we don't know of tomorrow. We're a team for a purpose and we're a team for a reason. I'm your five-star diamond coach for a reason. I, ha I hold responsibility for our team. And if you have anyone who you are adding into Team Eagle or Team Conquer, message me and let me know and I will approve them. Because that's the other thing. There's a lot of pending names in, the, in Team Eagle, for example, because Team Conquer is smaller and I can tackle it easier. But um, I'm an admin on Team Conquer and Team Eagle. And in Team Eagle, there's a lot of names and sometimes I don't see the name next to it. So if you let me know, Onidis, please approve X, Y, and Z. I go in there with the names and I approve them. Um, something else, if you don't feel confident hosting a seven-day quick start or the business quick start, as we call it, please reach out to your sponsor coach or myself and let us know because it is in our best interest to inform people of best practices and of the available tools that they have. This way, their choice, the ball is in their, in their hand, and it's their choice what they will do with this ball, okay? Um, so that's the, a few things that I wanted to mention. Um, as our group is growing, we are doing different things. We're letting ourselves be guided by our, in our inner selves and what we want to do and how we want to impact the world. So you should do the same. We all have been given gifts. So all we have to do is just share them with the world. We have different chats. In these chats, we share, again, tips and ideas. But it's not only one person's responsibility to answer the questions. Not, we don't all know the questions. If we can find value and share answers, you know what happens when you share? You learn twice. Um, so if let's say, for example, you have a full-time job and you're not available during the day, check in at one point during the night and just scroll through and see if there's anything you can capture. One of the things I like is I'm in part of um, Saudi Al Monte's personal diamond chat. And when she sends a lot of information, like there's 500 messages that I can't keep up with, I will browse and I will send to my private self 
messages that I want to read later on or any videos that she has sent or any scripts that she has shared. I'll go ahead and send it to my own self. So I have a messenger with myself <laughs> so that I can keep track of that. I also um, put myself like a to-do list of things that I'm going to go in and check. So I know that there are groups that I need to check in. I, I write them in my favorites on Facebook. And I know those are groups that I must check on a daily basis. And I add value in most of the groups I'm in. Um, if you're part of a new coach basics and you have a coach in there, it is your responsibility just as mine to add value to that page. It is your responsibility to add value to the page in which we are co-hosting our challenge groups. Um, we are doing this together so that we can learn with each other. And this is not to say that no, but someone knows more than the other one. I want to answer a few questions that are very common um, with our new coaches, with our seasoned coaches, and with people who um, want to know, like, well, how do you do this, right? So one of the things that we do is we connect with people. And we connect with people in very different formats. And things are changing. Social media is changing. And the way we connect with people is changing. So if it's difficult for you to adapt to change, you need personal development in that area. Because if I was thinking the other day, like I have the old iPhone, which is like compared to this thing, which I call the TV, it's like this size. And I looked at that little black iPhone and I was like, oh my God, I thought it was such a cute little thing. And now I, I looked at it and I was like, how on earth did I do that? Like, really? And that was literally like five years ago. Things are changing very rapidly and they're changing for the better, but they're also asking more of us. So what am I saying? There's a lot of people who are bummed out because Crowdfire is now no longer available. And we can't add people like crazy mayhem. We can't go in and add 300 new followers into our Instagram. But that, in my opinion, is a blessing. You know why? Because that makes the forming process that much easier. So forming is when you get to know the person, you get to understand about their family, you get to know about their occupation, you get to know about what they like to do for recreation, and then you send them a message. That's how you spell the word form. Family, occupation, recreation, and your message. It always ends with what do you want them to do or what do you have to offer them. So by taking away the tool of Crowdfire, now we're being forced to form a relationship with these strangers. And now we can't just hide behind Facebook. We now have to also have a Snapchat. Snapchat is a real life video of you. So it's not pre-planned. It's spontaneous. It's authentic. It's the true you. Instagram is a little bit more posed. You know, you get to use filters. You get to put, you know, prepare your post ahead of time. And then you get to be very descriptive. And Facebook is more personal. You can have like more comments back and forth. You can share with people and, you know, you can have arguments with people. You can go into politics and you can go into religion and you can go into a whole different world. It's, it's a different world, Facebook. All three platforms, in my opinion, are very useful to grow this business. Now, I'm not saying that because we don't have Crowdfire, we're not going to add new followers. We still are. But now we're going to be more intentional about the people we add. And I always have to look at my actual Instagram so that I can basically help you know. I am still adding 60 followers per, I'm not going to say every hour because I would lie if I said that. But I would say I follow 60, let's say I do it at 7 and I do it at 10 
one o'clock and eight. So four times six is 240. I approximately follow 60 new members to my Instagram account four times a day. And I do that by going into my search. Whenever, whenever I get to the search part, I go ahead and I look. And usually the way that attraction marketing works is I usually uh, am attracted by people who I feel like I can relate to. So I feel like I can talk to this person. I go ahead and the way I know that is their picture makes me stop, you know? So for example, here's this picture. It has a baby and obviously she's feeding him. Babies are sweet. So I immediately stop here and this person has their name and underneath it, it has a name of a location. So there's two things I can do with this picture. I'm going to click on the name of the person and she has 208 friends. I'm always looking here because these are her lifers in the middle. These are the people that she's also following for inspiration. She wants to be like them. She likes what they have to offer. So I go to the center and I go through and check to see who, do, who am I attracted to or who can I connect with. And I go ahead and I click a few. And I count them in my head because obviously Instagram will flag you if you do more than a certain number. I've already been in jail with Instagram and that is crazy. So I'm not doing that. Um, that's one thing I would do. Then I would go remember to the picture. It has a location. And usually the location has its own pictures that people have taken in that location. So I'll go into that location and I will follow people again that I can connect with. If they use very interesting hashtags that I can connect with, I jot them down and then I use them in my pictures later. That's one way I connect with people. Now, then later on, as I'm scrolling through my phone, I, I add, let's say I added 60 people in that moment. In another moment, maybe an hour later, or maybe like whenever I'm going to post again, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the little house and I'm just going to go up, up, up. And as I'm going up, I'm liking on everyone's picture. If something makes me stop and think, I go ahead and comment on that person. And it's just things like, you know, this person, I'm the daughter of the king. Amen, sister. I move on. Um, oh, the kids are out for school. Oh, my Lord. Let, let, let the force be with us. You know, cousins like lined up in birth order. How cute. I was always the tallest. Um, and, and I could just go by whatever comes to my mind. I'll say five comments that mean something, not just like, awesome, pretty, like it. Just things that make sense. And I'm not doing 20. I'm doing five. And I'm doing five because, check it, when you comment with intention on these people's posts, they are going to come to yours. And you'll know because they'll like yours. They probably won't like, they won't comment, but you will become familiar with these people, that they're your constant frequent flyers, and you will do that. Um, then when I notice that, let's say someone is having like, they, they look like they are, you know, into fitness, or maybe they are working out, or maybe they're in a track, I go ahead and I send them a private message, and they've liked my post. And I'll say, let me read you to my, the message that I'll say to them. I'll say something as, hey, thanks so much for liking my pic. I really appreciate when people support me on my journey. Are you on a health and fitness journey too? Um, if the person has been liking my post long enough, I take a moment and I'll say, I really hope you don't mind me messaging you about something like this. I'll send this in the chat and then we have them available in the, in the team page as well. Um, I don't know if this would even interest you, but I am hosting a stay fit through summer group and I change the words around depending on what's happening in the season. Right now, people are not interested in losing weight because they've basically thrown their hands up and they've said, if I didn't get to be bikini ready by now, like really, it's not going to happen. So I'm not going to offer them what they're not looking for. I'm going to help them stay fit or stay healthy through the summer.
So I'm going to help them through that. Um, I know that some moms are doing like busy moms or summer camp moms and stuff like that. So you can also Google and browse um, on Facebook and check to see what connects with you so that you can also connect with your audience. Um, I want to help as many ladies get lean and make it a lifestyle. I'm very big. I'm not using a quick, a quick fix. And I let them know this is what you're going to get from me. If I gave you details to read over, would you be willing to check it out and see if it would be a good fit? Then the person would tell you, sure, I'll look over it. Now, it is very difficult to share long information in, um, in Instagram direct messenger. So what I do is once they tell me, sure, I would look over it and I send them, okay, I will send you more information, but first tell me a little bit more about yourself. And I ask them about what are they struggling with, about their weight and their fitness and their nutrition. And this is a blurb. I, I keep it very simple and generic and I literally use it over and over again. And that's what we call our script. I don't deviate from there unless I really have to, and I have to personalize it to the person. Um, so once they tell me like a few more details about themselves, now I want to move them over. Now I tell them, do you have an, a Facebook account or do you have an email so that we can continue to communicate? Now they come over and they'll most likely tell me they have their Facebook um, or they'll give me their email emails and I, we're not good friends, but I take it. Um, and then I have to follow up with them. So they come over to Facebook and when they come over to Facebook, I don't care if it's a grandmother looking lady, I will always go ahead and say, thank you so much for, um, friend request or sending me a friend request. Are you on a health and fitness journey? Or I'll say something like if they look like they're really in need, I'll say, um, thank you so much for like, for sending me your friend request. Are you interested in my coaching services? So now I want to be your coach. I want to be your mentor. And I ask them straight out the beat. And you know why I do this? Because for the first two years of being a Beachbody coach, I would accept friend requests and I never messaged people. And then what I used to do was, hi, how are you? Because I didn't know how to segue into the conversation. So it took a long time for that person to open up and finally um, come in and, and, and be formed by me. So then I learned this process is quicker. You know why? Because immediately they'll tell you, no, I'm just looking for inspiration and motivation. Yes, I'm actually on a journey myself. No, I'm not interested in what you do, but I saw your Instagram and blah, 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 blah. And then you continue to speak from there. Okay. So then um, you go through the process and you basically add them into your um your groups, if they agree to say yes, if they say no, not now, put them on a list and continue to follow up with them. And that's literally, guys, as simple as it gets. Yes, it's, it feels um, very tiresome and sometimes it feels draining because you're getting so many no's. But try to take a step back and look for people who want to be helped. And... Put your story out there so that it makes it easier for you to connect with other people. And that way you can, um, it, it will be easier for you to transition people to your life, to your journey, and to your coaching opportunity. And with that said, um, we are in the month of June. And in the month of June, Carl Deichler, our CEO, has declared it the month of diamonds. So our goal as leaders is to shoot for the stars, even if we land on the moon, right? But we're shooting for the stars. We're shooting high. We're setting ourselves high with high expectations because we don't want to play to be a coach. We want to actually be a, a coach and have this give us the opportunity that it can offer. So the way that you can do that is by focusing on emerald build elm emerald 
and above. If you are already a diamond, then I want you to think emerald. How many emeralds can I build in my downline? If you're not an emerald, then that should be one of the goals that interest you. What do I need to become an emerald? And reach out to your coach because your sponsor wants to know that you're interested in learning so that they can direct you. This is a very self-paced, self-run business, and it's easier when you want it more than your sponsor for you. Because it's almost like you start walking with someone, it's easier to go alongside that person than to try to go ahead and try to call that person or try to pull that person to come with you. It's easier to just walk alongside each other. You get there with less stress. And that's the goal, to live a life that is fulfilled and filled with less stress. So for me, that's my goal. I am a diamond, but I want to be a diamond again. So that means I'm looking to help other people become emeralds in my business. And I need emeralds on my right and I need emeralds on my left. So that's my strategy. I basically am looking to build that. I'm not doing things blindfolded. And I am honestly gearing more towards bringing coaches into my business than to bring customers. Reason of that. I've noticed that when coaches sign up, they may sign up with the discount in mind, but at the end of the day, they are more committed than customers are. At the end of the day, they have more of um, opportunity for growth. So my next focus as, uh, after helping people become Emerald is speaking to my present customers and turning them into coaches. Because I find, and I think that's one of the reasons why Carl waives the coaching fee when a customer signs up as a coach, because there's more success rate when someone signs up that way. There's some sort of responsibility that comes along with it. So if you have customers that have signed up with you for a long time, now is the perfect timing to speak with them and to help them upgrade their account to be a coach. And I speak to them just like that. Have you ever considered up upgrading your account to becoming a coach? And I explain to them why. You're going to basically, and it's simple. Don't overcomplicate it. It's as simple as if you own a BJ's card, you go to BJ's and you buy wholesale price. You're basically getting a discount. You're part of a club. You're part of a membership. So you are part of this, and because of that, you pay your member fee. But everything in the shop, everything in BJ's, is yours at a lower cost than it would cost in the regular stores. Same thing with Beachbody. You are a VIP member, and you get a 25% discount from all of the products that are available to you in the Beachbody office. If you were to refer someone to your programs, then you also get a commission on top of your dis discount. And that's how you build an income, if you choose to. It's not mandatory that you work the business, that's if you want to. As a coach, you have more benefits of building an income than as bringing um, customers into your business because a customer is only that month that they came in. If they continue with Shakeology, then yes, you continue to get it. But as you know, a customer will last about three months with Shakeology, and then after that, they drop. A coach will stay on for longer. Just saying. I'm going to stop right here, and my last final thoughts are, as times get difficult, as times get hard, and you feel like you're starting to shift, and you're starting to sift the way, and the water is feeling so good over there, and you're starting to forget, I want you to remember that it's harder to start over again than to keep going. So always remember to even if you're going to keep going at a slower rate than everyone else, at least you're not starting at ground zero. So always, no matter how slow you go, just keep going and don't look back. Because at the end of the day, things will not get easier but you will get stronger. That's been my theme this whole week. Any question, guys? 
The floor is yours. I'm going to read the notes. Um, so I, you said how you add people. How do you go back? Do you go back manually on Instagram and delete people that are inappropriate? Or just leave them? Yes. When I come across the people, I haven't been deleting. That's why I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do that one. I'm <laughs> literally developing the system as we speak because this mm -hmm. is completely new. Um, I mean, you have a lot more followers. I have a lot more followers than I do following. Yeah. So but when you're first starting off, it's kind of you're trying to. Mm -hmm. But I would, I like, even now, if I find that I'm following like raps people, I just unfollow them and I continue on. Um, so I do that manually as well. There is cleaner. Um, Nina said that she does cleaner, purchase cleaner. And that's an app that you can purchase. Um, to, unfollow. to unfollow and Melissa is using Instrack. They're in the, their names are in the chat. Um, also, if you're having difficulty adding new people to Instagram, Snapchat has a place that you can actually follow Snapchappers. It's called, <laughs> it's called Ghost Codes. Ghost codes. That's an app. That's an app, and you can connect with different snappers or Snapchatters. I don't know what you call them. Um, something else that you may want to start looking into um, is it's called Bodyboard. Now that we have Body um, Beach Body on Demand available international, uh, this oops, it's Bodyboard, not with a big B O. Let me write it. Um, now that we have Beachbody on demand, I can't talk and write. There we go. Um, now that we have Beachbody on demand, available international. Nori, what are you doing? Oh, mira la cara. Um, <laughs> she froze. None of them. Um, now that we have Beachbody on demand, available international. I believe that Carl Deichler um, is going to be using this app to connect with people internationally. Um, so just keep that in the loop. I'm not really informed. All I know is somebody told me just download the app and we'll talk later. So I just follow directions and I just do and I share with you. Um, <laughs> any other questions? Hi, your name is it's Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Um, I saw this post, um, a video post from, uh, what's his name, John Coates? No, what's his first name? Josh I Coates. can't remember. Josh, Josh. Coates. And he spoke about um, Instagress.com. And I tried it today. They have a, you have to pay for it if you want to continue using it. But they have a, a free three-day trial. And what it does is it can, it's kind of, it's actually way better than what crowdfire was it's a little more modern so what you can do is you can follow unfollow and like automatically through there and it categorizes it by for instance like your tags so you type in the tags that you uh, the hashtags that you want to that you mostly use so you'll put it on there and then it'll look for these tags and it'll like pictures for you. It, you can also click on stuff to comment, but I feel like whenever I get those random comments, I know it's an autom automatic comment. Mm -hmm. So it does, because sometimes it doesn't make sense to what my picture mm -hmm. is. So I personally don't like those, so I click that off. So I'm using it, I started it today, so I'm using it a little bit. So if anybody wants to look at it and maybe try it out, it's, it's called Instagram.com. It's an so I don't have app. Your it's called huh? it's an app. It's um you no, it's not an app. It's not an app. You have to do it from the computer. Okay. I'll type. I'll type it in the chat. I, yeah, I saw that. I typed. I, I typed that. it. So Instagram is. I haven't mm -hmm. used it to follow and unfollow people. What I use it for is to like for me. 
So it is a paid program and I pay $9.99, but you can stop it and restart it. So on a monthly basis, and when I say stop it, it's you stop it from liking and commenting on people's pages, on people's posts. And the way that it populates who it's going to like is when you select a group of hashtags or you can add locations, um, it goes or it recognizes um, it recognizes those hashtags that comes from you and then you go in and you sort of la like it, but you could be sleeping and you're liking pictures on Instagram because it's, that's how it's growing your, your followers. And what Michelle said is correct. Um, Anita Myron has a two video, um, series on how she does it and she, and she, not, and she, she teaches you to the T how to set it up so that you don't get blocked. Um, because there's a certain numbers that you're supposed to use because your Instagram could get shut down if you go too fast and start liking too much and commenting too much because then you come out as spammy. So you don't want to do that. You want to follow the, the, the trainings. Um, and, and if you do too much of the like it, awesome, amazing, it's true. It's very tacky because you know they're being automated. I personally do. I get quotes. And I'll say, have, an, have a blessed day, or I love that you did that, or I can relate. I'll leave it at that. I don't go too crazy over the automated comments because of the same thing. I think it's tacky. Um, and something else about Instagram is that you can um, be aware. Sometimes your friends may take, tell you, did you know you're liking pornography? And you're like, mm -hmm. no. And then you check your hashtags and they're connected to some sort of scandalous page on Instagram. So if it matches that, you delete it from your Instagram and then you upload it again and you'll be fine. It's, it takes a little tweaking, but you'll be good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any other questions? Awesome. How are we feeling with our pipeline? Because I know May was a very good month. We worked really hard. So right now we are very good at following up. And one, yes. thing, one thing I'm going to say is that staying consistent and sending 20 messages per day. And when I got to the last week of May, I did 20 messages in the morning and I did 20 messages at night. And I got to Success Club 13. So, and I was at zero for the entire month. <laughs> good times. Very good times. But you know what? When you have situations like that, just like technology, just like in this business, if you haven't noticed already, we need to continue revamping. We need to like take a look not only at our business, but even the fitness level. Like what are we doing differently? If we're not seeing changes in our body or, you know, we need to reevaluate and say, oh, okay, this is what's happening. What can I do better? Let me switch things around. And I think that this is the month to do that. And for me, last month was a difficult month, um, just as a nurse, but you push through them, you know, and you learn. You take them as they come. But you never stop doing the vitals because one thing is for sure, even if you don't meet your goals, you're still working towards becoming a better version of yourself. And personal development, the fitness, drinking your Shakeology and inviting others only allows you to get better at this. Getting all those no's, they're not easy. I, I lost count of all the no's that I got. But in order for me to take that with a grain of salt, I need to have personal development on, <laughs> on me like it's, I, it's IV, you know, because you have to flush out all those negative vibes, if I should say. So this month, I wanted to share something before I forget. Um, I started all over again and it's something that I had to reflect in May. It was a reflection mode because it's the middle of the year and I was taking a look at myself. I was forgetting about everything else, just me overall and my journey and where I'm at today and the changes that I want to, um, 
you know, for them to happen. But in order for that to occur, I need to work on myself, continue to push myself to the next level. How can I do that? I'm going to focus on me. And I'm taking it back to basics, um, basics in all sense of the form, like in all sense, why I started this, why I fell in love with this and the program that got me my transformation. For you, it might be different. Maybe you're bored out of your program. Maybe you want to try something new. This is the opportunity that you can do this. Um, it's a new month. It's fresh. It's clear. It's awesome. So I started uh, a 90-day program with Chilene Extreme. And what I'm doing is I'm sharing it out loud with the world, something that I never did when I started. If you don't know my story, I had a fake Facebook account. So my journey, I did it by myself in a little cocoon, and I did not share anything with anyone because I just... That was who I was back then, very private in my own bubble. This time around, look, it took three years for me to say, you know, I'm open to share my life with you. I have nothing to hide. Um, we all have our journeys, right? And they're true to us. So now I want to do it openly. And I'm doing the program with that intention of now finally saying, you know what? I'm no longer that person, but I'm different now. I'm happier. I'm leading a healthier lifestyle. And honestly, you really don't have anything to lose, so much to gain, in other words, right? So I started an album. If you go on to my page, you'll see it. Um, I believe it says Summer Strong or Shaped by Grace. And on the album, before, when you create it, I added uh, an invite. So every time I'm, I'm op uploading a picture there, that invite is always fresh and in people's faces because I'm inviting people as I go along. And that's really much what we do, right? So I started that album, wanted to share. If you want to, um, you know, do the same thing with your page, you, you can do so. We need to try different ways of how we can attract others to join us. Um, trial and error. Sometimes you won't get not even one like, okay, don't be upset. You live and learn and you keep it moving. You reevaluate and see where you're at. Um, those are it's part of the process. It's part of the learning process. Um, but the album, I find that brought a lot of attention because people want to see. Let me see if this chick is for real. Even if they've been seeing me forever. And they want to relate to you. And also they want to see what the heck does she eat? Does she eat at all? Share what you eat. Like, it's okay to share with the world. Um, so wanted to share that. Sorry, I was following before. And I'm... Um, one of the things also is use your present time as, so what I mean to say is this, you're going to go on, you're going to probably be on vacation. Your, your kids are going to be off. Um, you're going to probably have to take your child to camp. You know, whatever situation is your present situation. That's your story. That's how you are living a healthy lifestyle. And that's what you need to share with others. How do you make it work? That's what's going to help someone else. Because here's the thing, and, the, and if you want to write this down, I have, I have it on my note, and I keep it in, my, in front of me so that I understand what is it that I'm doing. And what I'm doing is I am speaking to the women who admire me who want to be like me, who wish they could be like me, who look at my page and say, damn, that was me, and look at me now. Or, I wish I could be who she is. So someone who wants to be just like me, or someone who, who, is, who wants to be that. So you're either there or you want to be there. Okay? So think about that. Sometimes you don't know what to say about Throwback Thursday or, to, or Transformation Tuesday or even Sunday because um, those are the three very particular days that I make sure I speak about my story. And then what you need to think about in your head is where was I before and how have I changed? Or where do I want to be tomorrow? And how am I going to get there? Example, I'm very confident in speaking about who I was before and how I, I, how I depended on food for my emotional stability, right? Now I overcame that so I can speak 
I can speak differently, you know? Now I'm looking to be my own boss. I'm, I'm looking to be the person who has, you know, a huge team. So I speak to the future me. I speak to the confident woman who I want to attract into my life. I don't want women with excuses. And that's why you hear me speaking about that. Like, put your excuses to the side. Like, I'm speaking to my future self. You know what I mean? I may not be there right now, but I'm attracting that for tomorrow. Because I realized that I was too much in the social working environment. I was too much of a counselor advising others. And that was draining my energy. And that was taking my positive life out because I can't carry other people's burdens. Everyone has their own cross to carry. And when I understood that, I was able to say, I'm here to prove and to show and to guide and to give hope to those who don't have it. I'm not here to solve everyone's problems. So that gave me peace. And now I speak to the future me because I can't speak to me the one who needs advice. I can't speak to the one who wants to be, you know, oh, pobrecita. No, I can't because I'll stay there. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense, but that has helped me. And that has helped me by following Audrey's, um, Audrey's YouTube channel. And I, I stalk her like crazy because I love the way she, she shares stories and the way she speaks. So um, I basically do that. And she told me that she, she, she gets into um, in Beyonce mode. You know, what would Beyonce say in a moment like this? Awesome. You know, and that's it, guys. Any um, takeaways? And we will, it's 10 o'clock, so I want to make sure we don't go over that. Not all at once. Oh, I follow Audrey Robles' page. Um, I go to her YouTube channel. First of all, I listen to her daily inspirations. And then I also, um, she, tr she trains on different branding aspects. And she also shares and leads by example. And in her Instagram, she writes beautifully. So I take ideas on how she projects her story. And I, I go ahead and do the same. I put myself not in Beyonce's mode, but I put myself like in JLo's mode. I put myself in badass women. Like I get in modes, like whatever. I just want badass in my life. And I get that. Um, so sometimes you see me coming into the chats and be like, just find it. Just do it. Just do it. It's because I'm in that mindset. Like, that's it. We got this. Alrighty, my friends, it's an amazing day. I am exhausted and I need to go find my bed. Oh, why would you be exhausted? My husband's birthday is tomorrow. Oh, and him and Eli Elias and Tim are very alike. Whoever has husbands who are Geminis, um, I need to.